little sneak peek of the next video I'm putting out. Let's see if you can guess. Right, I'm going to try this video again. Of course, every time I try to make a video, something happens. Somebody pulls up or something loud happens. we got all kinds of activity going on next door. And the street sweeper just came through. Oh, coming back around again. I can hear him. That figures. Anyways, quickly, um, I'm a type of guy that likes my music. I'm sure there's a lot of other ones out there. A lot of people like uh, good sounding music. Um, so I'm adding a subwoofer in my truck. Uh, what I have right now is a JBL 4 channel amp um, hooked into a Android uh, stereo system that I've already mentioned on the channel before. Now, hold on a second, let's watch this street sweeper go through. That's my timing. More like a sweet, a street dust storm than a sweeper. Anyhow, yeah, so uh, I've upgraded, I've got some uh, separates, I've got some JBL uh, woofer and tweeters in the doors, and um, just a set of full range JBL uh, speakers in the back, and they run off this four channel amp right here, uh, which sounds good, but you know, you've got no low end bass. So, what I did is ordered a uh, you know designed to fit subwoofer enclosure. I just I'm just getting one um, which I'll show you in a minute I got one 10 inch subwoofer that I want to put in. I'm not looking for a 17 year old uh, You know dual 12s or you know 18 inch and you know break the glass in my truck I just want to add a little uh, low punch and I do like uh, good quality music uh, so uh, I've decided to take a day and install this into my truck and uh just as a little kind of early Father's Day gift to myself. So uh, what I wanted to do is show you the before, and uh, this is what I'm dealing with. Um, I'm waiting for UPS. The subwoofer box should be here along with the wiring kit uh, anytime. But with my luck, it won't be until later. And uh, we'll go ahead and mount the woofer in it. I'm hoping the woofer fits in the box. We've got about a quarter of an inch. I think that I might be too, sh too shallow to fit the woofer that I bought, but... I think we're going to be okay. I might have to modify it a little bit. We'll see how that goes. Uh, but my plan is to add a, another amplifier, which I'll also show you in a minute, um, that I ordered from uh, Scar Audio. I was going to keep everything JBL. Uh, I don't know. There's really no reason. But th the woofer is, is going to be unseen. Basically, everything is going to be unseen. The, uh, the box covers over this as well. And somehow I need to mount the other amp as well. I don't know if I can fit them both close by or that's going to be too hot of an area if I might have to move the other amp over here and we got street sweeper again so that's where it's gonna go and uh, the design of the box once it's in here you can put your seat back down and it just takes up that space right there I think it was like $90 on eBay uh, for the, the custom fit box and what I did is looked up on YouTube and found a good uh, low cost but decent output setup. And what I decided on uh, was a SDR10 uh, dual voice coil 2 ohm subwoofer. And this, uh, where is it? RP80 or RP800.1D. Uh, which is a uh, mono amplifier, 800 watt, uh, and that's real watts, that's not peak, that's, that'd be RMS at 1 ohm. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wire this dual voice coil 2 ohm subwoofer so it's running at 1 ohm, and uh, the max I believe on this speaker says 600 watts, so we're going to have 800 driving it. This is going in an enclosure that is not ported, it's going to be... Uh, sealed uh so you, you're uh it takes a little bit more power to move it and um 
the bass is a little more controlled, good for like rock music and stuff like that, less less for rap and that type of stuff. So these are the two components that I chose. Um, this will go inside of the subwoofer box and this amplifier. So I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, watch the street sweeper come around again. And let me go ahead and open this up. Figure we'll do a little unboxing to see what you get. Wonderful background of a street sweeper again. Not that it's that interesting. Front lawn's coming in nice. All right. ADD here. Fire itself, pretty plain Jane basic. A screw falling out there. Has uh, decent reviews and I guess puts out uh, real good clean wattage. Also comes with a control knob, I believe, that you can turn the amp up and down depending on what you're listening to at the time quickly without having to mess with settings in your radio. It's got a max min control. All right, so that's that. And now let's flip you around and take a look at uh, the subwoofer itself. Now this was their uh, kind of their budget line under a hundred dollars um, it wasn't the low profile one which I may end up having to get if this doesn't fit in the box sticker user manual but I'm hoping that uh, this will fit boy she's a monster inch yeah this thing is huge really having my doubts whether it's gonna fit or not and as you can see it's got the uh, two connections because it's got two two voice coils in it like I mentioned earlier and uh, we can basically connect the positive and the to the positive and the positive together the negative and the negative together and then just connect your positive and negative off of one which will basically combine the two and turns two ohms into one ohm <clears throat> But uh, looks like a decent, decent quality. I don't know much about this stuff, honestly. But I do know, uh, I do know that um, having a nice uh, subwoofer will help out on the low end. Give me a little more low. This should be all I need. Worst case scenario, if it's not enough, I might uh, add a second one, which I could always do in the future if I want. But I probably won't. This would be fine. You know, honestly, even the, uh, I think they're six inch or maybe, uh, might only be four and a half inch, the door speakers in there. I can't even remember now. Um, they actually even have a, a little bit of a punch to them. You know, nothing like this is going to provide, but, but, uh, yeah, I just wanted to, uh, have the unboxing of this and I will have a video coming shortly. Hopefully if this is going to fit in the box and mount, uh, worst case scenario, like I said, I believe the spec was about a quarter inch short. But there's like a, an area in the, in the box that, that uh, has like a separate panel that where it drops down to give you a little more clearance. So I think it's all going to depend on the size of this magnet and where it hits. I think, if anything, it might just hit in one corner because it's a little bit of an angle. We'll see how it goes. Um, worst case, I might have to do like a, uh, make a surround trim ring, maybe a half inch plywood trim ring that goes around as a spacer to pull the speaker out a little bit. But I'm not even sure if I can do that and still be able to fit it under the seat. So 
stay tuned. Uh, I'll have another video on the on the install on this and uh, setting it up, and we'll see how it uh, see how it sounds. Of course, you're not going to be able to tell on the camera how it sounds, but just trying to get another look of the space we have under here. Yeah, that uh, that's going to be really, really tight. Luckily, this is kind of hollow, the bottom of the seat. So if I do have to modify the box a little bit, because the, the woofer is going to be facing downward, and then the box goes up here a little bit. We'll see when we get it. Definitely having my doubts. If you uh, see an update, it may be with that, or I may have to uh, order the low profile instead. I don't know if I'll send this back or keep it. It wasn't that much money. I think this was a $89 woofer. And the amplifier, I think, was $129, I want to say. Combined to $229 in the box. So about $300 for everything that I got to add a little punch to, this, to the sound system. All right, I'm rambling on again. Stay tuned for uh, the install video, hopefully part two.